Welcome to Kirby SQL Talk. Today we're going to talk about how to use an on-premises data gateway. So we're going to show you everything that you would typically do creating a report using data from an on-premises data source, in this example, uh, SQL Server and Excel, and then publishing that report, and then uh, how you would keep that data in sync once you've published the report. So here's a couple, uh, three steps involved in this process. We're going to install the gateway first, then we're going to create a report and publish it. And then lastly, we're going to configure the gateway so it knows about the data sources we've used for the report. So let's jump into a demo how that's done. I'm going to go over here to powerbi.microsoft.com. This is where you'd go to download the different Power BI uh, products. So if you just click the products here, it's going to bring you to the products page. And if you scroll to the bottom, you're going to see on-premises gateway. Click that. And it's going to prompt us to download. So we're going to download this. This is free of charge. And we're going to save it on our desktop. And it's running its security scan. It's already loaded, so we're running it. And I'll give us a second or two. Okay, we're presented with this screen. We'll click the next button. And you have a couple different choices. I would recommend the on-premises data gateway. This can be shared by multiple users. This is typically what you would use. You could use the personal a gateway that only works with Power BI versus some of these other products that you may want to use. So just pick the default setting, click next, and then we'll let that install. Now, towards the end of the installation, it's going to give you this warning saying the gateway works better when it's installed on a computer that's not a laptop, essentially, something that can go to sleep or be shut off. So I'm installing this on my laptop, but you would typically want to install this on a server in your uh, data center somewhere. So I'm going to click the next button, accept the terms, and then click install. Then it prompts you for your email address that, that you're using for this installation. And this will be the one that's associated with your Azure account. So as soon as, as, soon as it sees that, it's going to ask me for my Azure credentials. Next, I'm prompted to give it a name. So let's just call this Kirby's Gateway. And I've installed this before, so I'm going to call this uh, Gateway number 7. And then we'll type in a recovery key. This is something you're going to need to remember just in case you have to, let's say the machine, the server where this gateway was installed, there's a problem and you need to recreate the gateway, then you'll use this recovery key for that process. So enter that key, click configure. And then at the end, it tells us that the gateway, Kirby's Gateway 7 is online and ready to be used. So good news, the gateway portion of this is done. And this is pretty much all you need to do with this portion that's installed on your local server. Um, there is a diagnostic section here, um, and um, but you don't need to worry about that for right now. You can just go ahead and click close. Now, what I like to do at this point is uh, add that gateway uh, to my taskbar, unless it's there already, just click uh, uh, down the little Cortana window and uh, type in, let's say, gateway. And then it's going to be uh, bring this up. And I right click on it and say, you can pin to the start menu. It's already on the taskbar. But that way you have access to it. OK, let's open up Power BI Desktop and get our data sources. So the first data source is going to be SQL Server. So click the database, uh, SQL Server, and we'll be prompted for our server connection name. Put that in there. And then our database name is AW. Click OK. So now we're going to go pick the table that we're interested in. And uh, it's called Location Lookup. And this is going to tie into another table that we're going to pull in from Excel. So Location Lookup has a location of where our cars are located. We'll click um, load on that one. And then next, we're going to pull in data from SQL. Uh, so, sorry, from Excel. So we're pulling in from two sources, SQL Server and Excel. Excel is pretty straightforward. Click the Excel uh, button there. 
and then um, we're picking this particular spreadsheet. This spreadsheet's pretty straightforward. It has one worksheet on it. We get a little preview of it and we'll say load. Uh, so we'll go to our relationships tab. There we go. And we've got our inventory list and our location lookup. So just to review, this location lookup was pulled in from SQL Server. This was pulled in from Excel. Now, based on those two tables, we're going to create a very simple report. Uh, let's grab make model private party purchase price. Make sure nothing's summarizing here. So we'll put that into a table. And then we'll create uh, another graphic, a line of bar chart for the same fields. Make model private party purchase price. We'll make that big. I'm not going into a lot of detail on how this is created because I want to show you how to configure the gateway. So now we're at the point where we can save this. Um, let's just call this uh, on-prem. And we'll replace the file that we have out there. Now we're at the point where we just click the publish button. Then it's going to ask us, it's going to prompt us for what workspace we want it to be part of. And we'll select the default My Workspace. And we have one out there already, so it's asking us if we want to replace it. Uh, if this was the first time creating this report, you wouldn't see that. Okay, so it's published, and it uh, gives us this link to view what we've published. So let's go out there. Okay, so just as a reminder, we're now out on the Power BI service here. We're looking at a report. We want to set up uh, the data gateway. So click the gear icon up here and it's going to give you the menu item manage gateways. We want to do that. So when you go in here, you haven't seen this before, but this is the gateway that was uh, downloaded to our server laptop in this situation. And now we want to add some data connections. I've actually added one already for Excel, but let me show you what that would look like. Um, in order to add one, you click the little ellipsis here and say, add a data source and you give it a name. And this is freeform. Uh, anything you want. Let's just call this SQL Server Kirby. But then the data source, this is important. Pick uh, which data source it is from one of these. Pick SQL Server, the name of the server, the name of the database. And I'm just going to pick basic authentication for this and pick an ID that I know the password to. And if I didn't uh, misspell anything, it says connection successful. So I did that quickly, but this is setting up a path essentially to your on-premises SQL Server. Now look at this Excel one. What is important to remember, if your report is made up of uh, three different data sources on-premises, then you need those data sources set up and defined in this gateway. This is the SQL Server one that we just did together. This is an Excel one that I created uh, when I wasn't recording. As you can see, it shows you the full path and then credentials to get to that point. So now we're done with setting up the gateway. How do we tell our data set to use that? So I'm gonna click on my workspace over here, and this is the new navigation, so this might look a little unfamiliar. If, you, if this doesn't look familiar, just hit your little hamburger icon here on the left, and you'll see your data sets at the bottom. But if I click this, what's called my workspace, and then I click data sets, I'm going to look for that data set that we created a few minutes ago. It's called on-prem. Scroll over to the right. You click the ellipsis, uh, which is uh, more options. And let's go to settings. Now here, gateway connection. This is where it ties it all together, everything that we've done. Um, I'm going to pick, this is an old gateway, an old personal gateway uh, that I have. But I want to say no. It just defaults to that old one for some reason, but I want to say, no, I want it to use this gateway that I've already created. Here it is, Kirby's Gateway 7. It's online. So I click Apply. With any luck, that'll work just fine. Tells me that everything's fine there. Then I can actually schedule the refresh. Keep your data up to date. You want to turn that on. And we can say daily. Now, don't be uh, concerned here thinking, oh, I can only do it daily. No, you can do it multiple times per day. Like if this right now says 8 uh, Pacific uh, time. Click Add Another Time. And you can, for example, pick 8.30 a.m. Um, and then add another time. Let's say you want to do it 10.30 uh, 
a.m. You can do this up to eight times a day. Just click apply. And then uh, it tells me that uh, my updates have been applied. So full circle here, um, wanted to just review the steps that we've done. Um, we have installed the gateway. We created a report based on two on-premises data sources, SQL Server and Excel. Then we published it. Then we went to the Power BI service in the cloud and we defined data sources that were part of that uh, gateway and then told Power BI that we wanted that data set to use uh, that particular gateway. So that knows how to refresh the data uh, from on-premises. So that's how you set it up. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you next time.